What is up guys, COD Gameplay here, and today I have a match of Team Deathmatch on Village using the M16 with Red Dot. My perks are Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Dead Silence, and I have a Claymore Flash, and my kill streaks are Reaper, Pavlo, and Osprey Gunner. And watch this right here, I have actually no clue how I did not die. The guy at the far, I just wanted to kill, kill this guy and maybe die, and somehow I survived this. The guy must have, have had an SMG. And that's the reason why he didn't kill me. And so I placed down a Claymore, and I double burst him, kill him, and then I get flanked from behind. So unlucky death at the beginning. But my final score in this game is 36-4, and four, which is pretty good. Considering that I didn't actually get uh, any kills with my Osprey Gunner. I possibly could, but I think I only got like two to finish it off, if I'm correct. Because I played around four games today of Team Deathmatch. Or four gameplays that I got. I played quite a bit today. Probably around like 20 matches. And so I got four gameplays, two 36 and uh, fours, one 41 and two, and then another uh, random one. I think it was like 34 and like two, three, something like that. But uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good in team deathmatch right now, right now because Christmas noobs are hopping on, and this is a great time to be playing Call of Duty. If you guys have uh, taken a little break from COD, now is definitely the time. And take note of this spot that I'm actually on. This is a huge huge power spot on this map you go up in the top rocks and everyone knows about it but if you can get them spawning back there where they're spawning right now it is insane how good you can just spawn trap them they come over logs and you just destroy them if you have a three burst weapon like a type 95 m16 even an acr or something that doesn't have a lot of recoil maybe a g36c you will go to town but whenever you're up here you always need to make sure that there's a teammate watching your back because there could be an easy flank since their spawn is back there by the little logs or whatever. There is high possibility that they could be coming through cave. And so I'm watching here, and then sadly, someone with an assassin comes up on my left, and I'm like, oh crap, just try. And I tried for the miracle, nothing happened. So sadly, I died here. And then I'm going back to the revenge kill, and guess what happens? I die again. Honestly, that was a really stupid play on my part, and I have to admit, sometimes revenge kills do get the best of me, but usually I try to not go back into the same person. In Modern Warfare 3, I think with the spawns that they have laid out in this game, uh, not the best spawns, uh, to be honest. I'm having a great time in this game, although there are some major issues in this game still. FMG 90 Kimbo's Type 95, and the spawns need to be fixed. Once those are fixed... This game is absolutely flawless in my opinion. Maybe buff the M16 a little bit. I don't know. If you buff it anymore, it might get a little overpowered. But you know how it is. Just little tweaks here and there that make the game just a bit better. And with the spawns, like I was saying, the revenge killing is insane in this game, okay? So in past Call of Duties, people have always wanted to revenge kill, right? And it, it's in our brains that we want to, in our competitive brains and our, like, uh, adrenaline and hormones and everything that we want to kill the person that killed us. It's just natural for our inst it's our instincts, right? Someone like let's just say hurts you, you're gonna want to hurt them back in the future, and so that's the exact same thing that everyone does in Call of Duty. And so you need to be prepared for those re revenge kills. So whenever I get a kill, I try to stay behind cover and and I try to train my position up. Okay, just watch right here. One, two, three. Probably my best streak so far. Four. Five. Come on, come on, where's the six? Where's the six? Where's the six? Six. Six kill streak in probably around 15, 10 seconds. Wow, that was fast. With a three burst gun, I just keep on going. And now I'm trying to find a spot to call my Reaper. But I hear stuff. I hear stuff on my left, right. I get this kill. And then I try to get... Oh, no, that's a teammate. Come on, come on, come on. Get, use cover, always use cover, and I get the kill. Thank goodness, get my Pavlo, and now this is time to go ham. So, team deathmatch in this game, I have to admit, is is not the, it's not horrible spawns, but it's not the greatest spawns. Free for all to me, I tried playing it. I cannot get a gameplay to save my life. I'll go 30 and 6 is probably around the greatest I'll do in free for all just because of the random spawns. I'll get spawn killed or like I'll die go on like a death streak so easily in free for all, way easier than any other game mode. And also people spawn behind me. And I try to stay aggressive with my games. 
I don't try to camp a lot, and because of that, I'm always vulnerable to the open spawns of Free For All. And so, Free For All, it's fun, but honestly not the best for me when I'm trying to go for gameplays. TDM, I love because it's it's short games, pretty fast-paced games. If you can play against not, not the best players, you can get some really good scores. Personally, Domination, maybe a bit too long, but uh, I think Team Deathmatch for my suit of gameplay is probably the best. But anyways guys, it is coming up on the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see me cover any top topics in my uh, later commentaries, please do write them in the description or the uh, comments. Wow, I haven't done one in a while. I'm pretty sloppy, so I'll definitely be coming on another commentary. Maybe tomorrow, maybe ne next day. But Merry Christmas, guys. Hope you have a great holidays, and uh, stay safe. Anyways, I'm Cog Gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Also, if you guys haven't checked out these videos, please uh, go check them out. Annotations on the screen and Twitter links in the description. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.